there's, there's lots of inspiration out there. I find it really difficult to pick one particular thing that inspires me. We were really lucky to have very inspirational parents would take risks and, and do something completely different. We feel quite comfortable in that arena. So we're on the South Downs, so we've got, not far from us is really chalky, we've got clay loam topsoil here and if you dig deep enough there is a limestone ridge that actually runs through the Paris Basin. So the soil's ideal for the, making that style of wine. And I think what our, our land brings to us is a crispness, a freshness. I think our philosophy in the vineyards, as well as the wine in probably our business, is that we want um, we want the fruit to speak for itself. So we have a minimal intervention. So we try not to do too much. Obviously, we spray the vines, we look after them. It's a lot of manual maintenance. I think you need the science to create the art. <laughs> The, the art of being able to taste wines throughout the whole process, and that's an art, it's a skill. Um, not everyone can do that, and, um, you know, and I think the science part of it, the actual process of it, yes, you can be very prescriptive as how you do things, but actually the final part of the blending or, or making those assessments of the quality and the flavour profiles of that wine is a very, I think, very um, skillful and I would say more artistic part of the business. We have designated underground storage cellars here and the wines are aged between 18 months and 10 years for our magnums. Riddling is taken place over eight days, disgorged and then aged on cork before we label and release. We grow the three classic champagne sparkling varieties. So we, we have Chardonnay, which you can see here and that can, that makes up virtually this whole top field that we have. We have Pinot Noir, and we have a small amount of Pinot Noir up here, and most of it is in our other vineyard, which is just through the woods there. We have Pinot Meunier, not so well known, but um, quite a reliable cropping grape for us. Gives us some, some lovely flavours, nice fruit. We create our house style, which is our Bloomsbury and our Cavendish and our Fitzrovia, and they're a very youthful style, um, something that the family really enjoys and how we like to enjoy our wine. And then we create the sort of the premium blends, which we will age for that bit longer. And the Magnums being that larger format again, a little bit longer, and make them that little bit more special. Just found I had a real passion for it and just loved it, and it's something I've done for the last 20 years.